It's good to be with you. Welcome to Class Outside. Today, we are going to learn how to create and install your own add-on for Blender. For this project, we will need Blender installed. Add-ons are created using code. The code for this demonstration can be found on GitHub, a website owned by Microsoft, and linked down in the description. This add-on creates a new button when we right-click on a mesh. The new button will let us add a rectangular mesh to the scene that extends to the boundaries of the selected object. This mesh represents the bounding box for the selected object. To start, open Blender, then select and delete the default objects. To test the object, let's press Shift A and add a monkey head. Now, at the top, we have a list of workspaces. Select the one named Scripting. In the text editor view, click the New button. This creates a new space to add our code as text. Now, to add code to our function, Blender accepts code that uses the Python programming language. Copy the code from GitHub and paste it into this text editor. Let's look at the code. First, we see the line BL underscore info. On top of Python, Blender provides additional code so that custom programs can interact with it. BL underscore info describes Blender information, information we are going to provide to Blender. This is where you define the name of the add-on, the name for the add-on's creator, and more. Next, we see some import statements. This is how you can access pre-made code. Some pre-made code to work with Blender is available. Those are the BPY or Blender Python names. Some built-in Python code is also mentioned by the math utils name. Next, we see a def block. Def is short for define, and it is how you describe a section of code that can be reused somewhere else in the file. This defines something called create bounding box. We can look ahead to see that later create bounding box is mentioned again. That will trigger this code to run. We know what code is inside the def block by indentation. In Python, code is inside the nearest statement above it and further to the left. This def block does what it says, create the bounding box. This happens by using math to determine the furthest the selected object extends in every direction. This is the positive and negative directions on the x, y, and z axis. It then uses a Blender function to create the mesh. And finally, it sets the name of the cube. And this name represents the width, height, and depth in meters. Further down, we see the class add bounding box. When you want code to trigger when a button is pressed, you need something Blender calls an operator. Operators operate the code. They represent where it should start. One way we create an operator in Python is to use the word class and in the parentheses add the word operator. The word operator comes from Blender and we see it imported up above. This gives the class extra features so that it can be considered an operator and do things like start the code. In the class, we see some more BL underscore statement. One is ID name, which sets the name that Blender in the code will use to refer to the operator we just set up. Label is the name that will be on the button. That is what the human will see. Description is what will appear if you hover your mouse over the button. The execute statement will run when the operator is triggered. This is what is run when the button is pressed. And here is where we call the create bounding box definition we set up earlier. Outside of the class, we see a few more things. Draw underscore func is used to describe what the button should look like, like its name. Menu underscore func adds the button to the menu. Register tells Blender about the operator, so it knows that when the button is pressed, it can start the code. Unregister is there for when you decide to remove the functionality. And finally, the if statement calls the register statement and registers the code, setting it up to be used. We can test our code before using it as an add-on. Here's an example of what it would look like if your code had errors. If the code has errors, you should see a pop-up by your mouse and more information in the Blender info view. Here's what it looks like when the code runs successfully. Our button should be added. Let's left-click the monkey head to select it and right-click to pull up the context menu. Click the button named Add Bounding Box from Selection. A new box should appear and we can see the name in the Outliner menu. Now. To make this code an add-on, we first need to save it to a file. In the text editor, click text, then save as. Navigate to where you would like to save it. Name the file and make sure the name ends with .py. This .py indicates that it is a Python program. To install the add-on, let's first open a new Blender window. Select edit, then preferences. Click the install button. Navigate to the .py file we just saved. Select it and click install add-on then you should see it in the list. Make sure the checkbox is checked off. 
Now close out of the preferences window. Let's delete the objects again. Then press shift A, go to meshes and add the monkey. Then left click to select the monkey. Right click to bring up the context menu. There's our button. Let's click the button. Look at that. Together, we have created and installed a Blender add-on. Please let me know down in the comments what you thought of this video. Have a great day and thank you for attending class outside.